Good morning. Welcome to Monday lunches. Uh, Colin is taking a Costco chicken bake. Uh, two cookies that I made last night. We've got oranges, a breakfast sandwich, fruit gummies, and uh, white cheddar popcorn. Rob has a luncheon today, so I'm sending him with the egg whites and um, some cuties, and that is our Monday. Dinner for Monday night is uh, some wings and drumettes here with the Yoshida sauce. I did it in the air fryer and then just coated it, did a, a coat of the Yoshida's towards the end on both sides. We have some rice and then we're also doing this salad kit, uh, the Kroger's Asian chopped salad kit. I'll add the dressing uh, when the guys come home, but this is pretty much ready to go. And that is our dinner for Monday night. Good morning and a happy Tuesday. Don't mind the dryer going. I've got some laundry in. Um, Lunch is for today. Colin has taken a Costco chicken bake, a breakfast sandwich, two cookies. Um, with This is the white cheddar popcorn. He's got some strawberries. Uh, Rob has another luncheon today, I believe. So I'm just sending him with some um, uh, roast beef and provolone. I just wanted to get rid of that um, since it's been in the fridge for a tiny bit. And I wanted to just throw away the, <laughs> the containers. Um, he's got strawberries and the co uh, chocolate coconut elevation bar. And that is... Uh, that's our Tuesday. Fajitas. I am seasoning this. Uh, these are just chicken thighs that I've defrosted. Um, let me show you the, I'm trying not to touch the bottle here. I picked this up at Marshall's, I think, uh, or maybe it was TJ Maxx. It's this kickin' chicken finger licking spice blend. It has, um, it has salt, onion, paprika, garlic, chili, black pepper, thyme, sage, oregano, and cumin. And uh, yeah, so that is what I'm using just to, I'm gonna let these sit for a little. Uh, Preheating the air fryer, I'm gonna rinse my hands off and stick that in there and then give that a go in the air fryer. Okie dokes. Stick this in here. Here that sizzle. Number one. Okay, so there's the chicken. Um, I'm gonna stick that in there. 390 for, um, start with 10 minutes. 10, okay, let's see what happens after 10. Okay, in the meantime, while the air fryer is going, I'm switching to a voiceover because it's just way too loud. I'm going to prep the peppers and the jalapeno that I have. So I'm gonna slice these up so that they're ready to saute. Now I'm going to have to leave in a little bit to um, pick Colin up from school. So I have the peppers, the jalapeno peppers here. Taking out the chicken now so you can see what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and flip these and put them in for another 10 minutes. So we'll let that go for 10 minutes. I'll come back home. I'll saute the peppers and add the jalapenos. Uh, and then I will also I have time right now, I think I have a little bit of time to go ahead and uh, prep the onions. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and use a shallot because I really like the flavor of a shallot and um, I've had this for a little bit, so I thought I'd go ahead and use it and save the onion for uh, something later in the week. So I'm just prepping the shallot here. I'm gonna slice them up and uh, get it ready to saute along with the peppers as soon as I get back from picking up Colin from school. Okay, so I am back from picking up Colin from school and I've started to saute the mini peppers that I prepped ahead of time. 
You can see how terrible my frying pan is and I actually tossed it after I made this meal. So I am in the market for a new frying pan. Um, but you can see I'm just slowly sauteing that in some avocado oil and uh, I, I'm gonna do that until it gets kind of a little bit charred on the on the edges, not too much. I do like to keep a little bit of texture in the peppers so they're not too mushy. Okay, you can see that not only are the peppers getting a little bit of color, but my pan is getting even more color. Uh, I tell you, at the end of this process, it was just unsalvageable. So um, just ignore it, just completely ignore it. Let's focus on these beautiful peppers that are getting nice and uh, charred. <laughs> Okay, so final step here with the peppers at least. I'm going to add the jalapenos. I ended up just doing half of the jalapeno. Uh, they are chopped up in a little bit bigger chunks than I would have liked. I probably should have minced them like really, really fine um, to get a, a more even spread throughout. But I only did half of the pepper because um, Colin doesn't like it super, super spicy. So I just, I wanted to play it safe. So um, now that the peppers and the jalapeno are nice and um, sauteed, I'm adding a little bit more oil because the pan was just getting burnt. So um, adding a little bit more oil there to take a little bit of the, um, the heat off of that, the dry heat off of the pan. Um, and I'm just con continuing to saute just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit more. And then um, we'll go ahead and go forward with the onions. And there you have the sauteed veggies. And final step is slicing up the chicken. Uh, it's nice and done here. Because I used, I, I really like to use the dark meat and because I did so, uh, it stayed nice and moist. Um, the air fryer gave it a nice crisp texture on the outside and it was just nice and juicy on the inside. So just prepping these, slicing it up and getting ready to serve. Final product, our chicken fajita tacos for the night. I added sour cream to mine, as did Rob. Colin added some shredded cheddar to his. I served with some lime wedges and a Southwest salad kit. And that is our dinner for Tuesday night. Good morning, and this is our setup for Wednesday lunches. Colin is taking his usual chicken bake, breakfast sandwich, two cookies, strawberries, and gummies. Rob um, is going to be taking some leftovers today. He's got the leftover fajita chicken with the, um, the peppers, uh, some lime, and some salad. Um, this is white cheddar popcorn. He's got strawberries and another elevation bar, which he loved. He said this tastes like mounds bar, or mounds bar. So chocolate coconut elevation bar. Okay. And that is our Wednesday. Good evening. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. We were supposed to have a fried pierogi with um, some onions and kielbasa tonight, but it's just me and Colin. Uh, Rob's at a conference. So um, I noticed we had some leftover taco meat in the refrigerator. I wanted to just go ahead and finish that up before uh, it sat any longer in there. So I'm just making him like a beef quesadilla. Uh, it's just melting up in here. Uh, I know we just had fajitas last night, but he seemed keen on this uh, as opposed to the pierogies. So this is what we're having tonight. I am not super duper hungry. It's uh, nearly seven now. Um, I think I must have snacked or something. I don't know what it is, but I'm not really that hungry. I'll probably just have some snacks or junk food or something a little bit later. Um, and so this will just be our Wednesday, or rather Collins Wednesday. Oh, a little flip, and that's his beef and cheese quesadilla. Good morning. It is Thursday morning, and this is Collins lunch today. I'm not sitting with a breakfast sandwich because he actually hasn't been eating them, and um, so I've been like throwing them away because he leaves them in his bag, and I don't want him to eat a really old meat sandwich. Um, so I'm sitting with just a chicken bake, two cookies, gummies, and some strawberries. He still has some money. So if you know if he gets hungry, he can buy snacks at school. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sending him with breakfast sandwiches uh, for the time being. And that is our Thursday. Incidentally, do you guys have 
any tips on how to get rid of like water stains? These are like years and years and years and years old. Um, but yeah, and also I want, this is an unfinished pine table. How, how do I seal that to make it look so that like I don't get water stains on it anymore? Anyway, if you have tips, leave them down in the comments below. Okay, thanks, have a great day everybody. Thursday night finally doing the pierogi I am salting my water I'm gonna add some oil so that they don't stick I'm using some frozen ones uh, frozen dumplings that I got from Aldi so um, I'm going to be boiling them first and then I'm going to be pan frying them Along with pierogi, I'm going to be cooking up some kielbasa to go along with it. Um, so while the water is boiling or I'm waiting for it to boil, I'm going to prep the sausage and get that frying. Now I love the flavor of a sweet caramelized onion with these pierogi, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm prepping the onion, I'm going to just slice them, and then as soon as the sausage is done cooking, I am going to saute and caramelize those onions so I have a nice little accompaniment, a little side to go along with it. So here is the sausage uh, just cooking up in the skillet there. My sliced onions are on deck. Um, so with the sausage, what I'm going to be doing is, um, you can see it's got a nice little sear and I love that. Next up, we've got the onions. So I'm gonna go ahead and as I mentioned, I'm just gonna saute until they're a nice caramelized sweet brown. Um, and that's just gonna taste so, so good with the pierogi. Just look at that color that it's getting. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer and I'm still waiting for that water to boil. Um, I'm using the burner that is um, not so strong, so that's why it's just taken a bit longer. I probably should have switched the two, but in any case, it worked out. So uh, just gonna get let the uh, onions go again, and um, in the meantime, I'm just gonna show you which ones I'm using. Uh, I ended up not doing the roasted garlic uh, box and just went with the spinach and white cheddar. So finally, 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 the water has started to boil. So I'm gonna get the uh, dumplings into the water, and once they are cooked up, I'm gonna drain them and then I'm gonna transfer them to the hot pan where I'm gonna pan fry them for a crispy texture on the outside. Just give them a little stir around so they don't stick to each other and I'll let those go until they are done. Um, I'll know they're done when they kind of float to the top a bit, kind of like when you're cooking fresh pasta. Uh, give it a little bit of stir and you can see they're kind of starting to float so I can tell they're pretty much done and then uh, I am going to be continuing to cook them on the stove top anyhow in the fry pan so just give that a good drain add that to the pan that has a little bit of oil and you know oil and water don't mix so I'm going to do that super carefully right over there in the back um, and then I will continue to go ahead and fry those up until they get nice and crispy. Follow the instructions uh, for pan frying that were on the back of the box um, and you can see it's picking up a little bit of I, I didn't clean the pan in between the onions uh, so, sorry the sausage and the pierogi so it is picking up a little bit of that char from there um, but no matter it's gonna taste just as good and it doesn't taste burnt at all but I'm gonna let these go I think it was like eight minutes in total or something like that um, and then I will go ahead and serve this up with the onions and some sour cream and the kielbasa so those are the finished pierogi I am adding the sweet caramelized onions to them just kind of just throw them and <laughs> throwing them all over on top they're really really 
so good so good with this dish um so there you've got the pierogi you've got the kielbasa and uh this is our dinner for the evening side of sour cream to go with and that is our thursday night good morning guys it's friday morning guys are taking this rob came home early from a conference because at the whole coronavirus thing, everything's shutting down, all the events and things like that. So he is gonna go ahead and go to work today. Today is the last day of Collins um, in like on-campus classes. Uh, they made a decision to go ahead and, and close campus for the next several weeks. Um, but So he's gonna be at home. We won't really have lunches, so this will be the last Tada finale. Friday, Lent, so no meat for us. We're doing fish sticks, grilled cheese sandwich, strawberries, um, gummies. Rob is taking the leftovers of the pierogi. This is the spinach and white cheddar. Uh, with some caramelized onions on top, a side of sour cream. He's got strawberries, an elevation bar, the chocolate coconut. Um, we have uh, just some yogurt. This is the vanilla too good yogurt. Uh, I haven't sent him this, uh, sent him with this in a while. And then he likes the salted nuts to go with it. So I didn't chop them up. <laughs> he can, I don't know, figure it out himself. But this is our Friday. Um, I will have a dinner tonight and then we'll call that a week. And then I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and um, let's let's see what we have for dinner tonight. Finally having this ravioli that I picked up from Costco before Valentine's Day. It's heart-shaped. They are red and quote-unquote white um, heart-shaped ravioli for cheese and um, they were delicious and I'm just serving with this marinara sauce here I don't remember where I picked that up but it was left over from a previous meal and some Parmesan cheese to go on top there's also a side of Texas toast and here you see me shaving some Parmesan cheese because I have no idea where our cheese grater is it's in a box somewhere I thought I had grabbed all the kitchen stuff but apparently I didn't so I am hand grating or yeah, slicing this cheese for a topping. Here is the uh, Texas toast with the cheese on top, sticking that in the air fryer. And our dinner for Friday, the ravioli with marinara and the Texas cheese toast. Don't forget that side of Parmesan cheese, that's coming right now. And that is our Friday night dinner. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.